Whether it's a newspaper, a news article or a book, whenever we want to validate some of the assumptions, we go ahead and look into the same thing. But in that case, we do not go ahead and read each and everything line by line. We go ahead and search keywords, the text which can validate our assumptions. And that is called text search. In the world of programming, in terms of complexity, text search is a complex thing, but is widely used and you know, it has many applicability in the programming world. It is unlikely that somebody is going to create production level software without doing any text search. The exception could be scientific computing, but if a production level software is there from front end to back end, text search is there. So text search is not limited to the program. It is also used in database. So in today's video, we are going to talk about how to use text search in an efficient way in MongoDB by creating what we call it as text index. So let's go ahead and start. So, you know, when we create index, if you have seen my previous video on indexing, you know that we create indexes to do a faster search. And when it comes to text, a faster search is must. Okay, otherwise it is gonna take a hell lot of time. So as with other indexes, the recipe behind faster search in MongoDB is B-tree. Now, just a disclaimer, I don't know the implementation of MongoDB, but MongoDB has said that they create B-tree for indexes. They might be doing lots of optimizations on top of that, about which we don't know. So I'm going to explain you the idea and how to use the indexing using an example. And here is the data which I will use as an example. So in this particular data, you can see I have ID, name, name of a programming language and some description. I am not showing description over here, otherwise it will be too big to cover in a slide, but I will show you in MongoDB Compass. So this is my data and I want to search things within description. So let's go ahead and see this data in MongoDB Compass and then see how we can use text index. So here is my document and it has six entries in it with a name, which is the name of a programming language and a description like one of the oldest object oriented or object oriented procedural programming, some detail about the programming language whose name is mentioned. Now you can see that there are no indexes apart from ID, which is created by default by MongoDB. Now, if I want to search something in this particular, you know, document, we can do a full text search without creating any index. So if I want to search name as, you know, Java, I will get result with Java. But even if I go ahead and change the case of it, it will not find. So it has to be exact match. Now, you know that in description, let's talk about description in description. We know there is something called object is there, object oriented, okay? It is there in more than one document, but can I find it? No. Why not? Because in this kind of search, you need to give complete text, which is impractical in situations like this, where you have text and you want to search something. There are multiple use cases. For example, let's talk about you got some comment and you want to filter the comment which are having good in it or excellent in it. Okay, you cannot just go ahead and, you know, imagine what somebody might have written the comment and comparing the whole comment. These kind of cases where you want to search the text, you need to create text index and text index creation is mandatory because MongoDB knows that they cannot do text search efficiently without creating a text index. So let's go ahead and create text index in description. So I'm going to index and I'm saying create index, type description, text index and create index. Okay. So we have a text index over here. Look, the size is pretty much similar to ID index. I don't know that matters over here. Now, if I go ahead and search something like description as object, what will happen? Will I get something? No, we will not get anything. You must be wondering why, because I just said that when you create text index, you can do search like this. The reason being this kind of search MongoDB interprets as a normal search. 
If you want to do a text search in text index, you have to write your query in a different way. You will do dollar text and inside that you want to search what object. Now let me run this particular search query. And here you can see that all the things where object is there is returned. And if I go here and write procedural, wherever in the description procedural word is there, it is returning that. But what if instead of object, if I write obj? Unfortunately, text index are created based on complete word. Okay, it will not be created based on all the character set. This is not gonna extract all the object just by writing obj. You need to write at least one word. Okay. So what if I want to write object and procedural? So I'll say object procedural. Okay. And if I go ahead and do that, you will get procedural as well as object. So if you give more than one word, it is or this or that or both. Okay. So this is implicit or if you want to have and like you want to have where object oriented should be there. So in that case, you need to give the query in double quotes. This is absolute match. So wherever object oriented will be there, it will come. Okay. So just like object, object oriented is there in three documents, it is returning. Okay. So let me get rid of this object and this. Okay. So this object oriented is, you know, or object or oriented. Now in the text field, you can get more than one result for something like object oriented. And somehow you want to know where the object oriented is more prominent. You can get that particular information by using something called a score. Okay. So I'll go to the option in this particular field. I'll write score again, dollar meter. I'll say text score. Okay. Let me go ahead and do find. Oops, uh, it will not be dollar over here. So let me go ahead and do find. Now we get a score also. Okay. Here we have 1.09. Here we have 1.1. Here we have 1.125. Okay. So the more the score, the closer that search thing is matched with them. Now in this particular case, you can see that object oriented is there in all the description. Okay. But why somebody's score is 1.09 less and somebody's score is 1.125? Now, again, disclaimer, I don't know the MongoDB implementation. But one thing I have observed that the object oriented is, you know, after four or five words over here. In here, it is after third word. In here, it is the first word. OK, so I believe this impacts the score as we can see in this particular example. But again, disclaimer, I don't know the implementation and how it works. OK, I do believe that a score is valuable for all of us to know. And we can even sort on the score to get something with higher score. But whether that score matches to your program criteria, your program logic, you need to see. OK, now as far as languages are concerned, there are multiple languages that are supported. So you can see the list in MongoDB, the list might be getting updated all the time. So I can see Dutch is supported, Finnish is supported, Turkish is supported. So many languages are supported and you can do text search on those languages. Now, before I end this video, I want to touch upon one special thing called case insensitivity. As the name suggests that at this moment of time, if I just write small o instead of ob uh, this object, still I'll get all the three results. OK, but if I do not want to do that, I want to match exact case. I will use a parameter called case sensitive has true. OK, so if I go ahead and click on find, still I am seeing the same results. Why? This is a small O, but this is capital O. And here words mean or if I just make it small O over here, you can see that case sensitive is true. It will only find where both the conditions match to a lower case. If we make it false, which is the by default behavior, 
we will get back a small object oriented also and big object oriented also. Now what if you have more than one field with text? Can you do text search on that? Yes, you can do but there is a limitation if you are using MongoDB in your local system. There is a limitation in indexes like if I want to create an index on name text index, it will give me an error. It says that we can create only one text index. Okay. Now at this moment of time, I am using MongoDB on my local machine. Okay. There might be some difference in behavior in MongoDB Atlas. But you know, if you have lots of fields and if you want to create index on all the fields, there is another way. Let me delete this, you know, index and I can create an index with description, text index. I can create another index in the name, again text index and I can create an index. So you can give more than one text fields in a single text index. So that is all I wanted to talk to all of you today. Thank you all. Thanks for watching. We will meet again until the next time we meet. Good day, goodbye. You take care.